Langerman is about this central figure, Taffeta, who sort of resurrects in her own Fantasia world the ghost of Abraham Lincoln and his secretary, Elmer, to reenact a love story that she feels like she herself cannot have. I think it's about love. I think it's a story about like losing love, finding love, never having it. And what it means to be seen for who you really are. I think all three of us are going through this journey of what self-acceptance looks like. It's a reclaiming of history through the lens of this fat, femme, black figure that's giving a whole new perspective on the situation we might have thought we have known. Taffeta's the ringleader. Taffeta's the magician. Taffeta sees all, knows all, does all. We are at the whim of Taffeta's every want, need, and move. When I've been engaging Taffeta, she is also extremely hurt. She's a person that's been wounded by the world so many times, has tried so hard to not let that affect the exterior. I think it's important to recontextualize and re-examine history always because the stories are never fully being told, particularly by folks who have not been in the seat of power. Uh, I think that there's power in recognizing that the history is a step-by-step -step information and guide to how we got to the present. I'm so, so grateful to have been able to work on this with Roger. And there's also just something so alive about having a playwright in the room with you. Being able to like have 30 minutes with them yesterday to just ask questions has really like kept that like intensity going. I mean, they're magic. Something that's been really beautiful about this experience is working with all of the design team and the artists and seeing folks that everyone feels like they can sit in this room and point to a moment that Roger dreamed up and say an opinion or a, a thought that then expands it and explodes it and everything is blooming because of it. It is very rare that you get to be a part of a process where it just feels so electric in the room as like uh, designers are sharing their presentation. The inspiration for a lot, a lot of the music that I wrote was kind of trying to figure out like what does a waltz sound like with like a trap beat under it and like can I make that work and sound good. Well I think the play ends in a moment of transformation. I would hope that that is something that audience walk away with is either like feeling empowered to make transformations in their life. I think I'd want people to walk away with the inspiration for self-acceptance. I want people to leave with their mind blown mm. about like what American history could, should be. I think there's something about it that is joyful and unflinching and sparkly and disgusting. And I just think that that's a world that I would want to step into if I was coming to see theater.